Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So today, we're in the world of Medieval Engineers, and we're actually here to have a look at one of these early little castle builds that I've been messing around with, as well as have a play around with some drawbridges, some sliding doors, and just a few little mechanics that I've been messing around with, trying to fortify my castle a little bit better. So this area is the keep, the area where... The, the main defense of the castle will actually stand. It's going to actually expand all the way up the hill and the castle will be just dotted around in different locations as it claws up level by level adding to the defense. So this initial area here, as you can see, we've got a little area for your horses, a little stable, and we've got like a little sort of customs booth where people will come in, get accepted or not accepted into the castle's grounds. And we've also got a sliding door that I'll show you very shortly, as well as the drawbridge. We also have the little craggy bit here that stops us from getting ram raided by a variety of different vehicles, different things that people are going to build. And we've got a little peasant's cave here, so if they're not rich enough to venture into my castle, you can actually find a place to live under there. <laughs> Aaron's economy. How, how does it work? You stick people under your bridge, get some trolls under there. Um, right, let's actually have a look at the drawbridge itself. Now, I was quite pondered with trying to work out how these work to start with, and I realised that the pulley system has to have each of these spindles go in two opposite directions, so you get an up motion like so, and you also get a down motion by turning it the opposite way as well. Now, I have been also struggling to try and to get these to work, so it seems like they do have some issues at the moment, but we are in pre-release, but that's what it's all about, messing around and trying to get these different things sorted, but it, it is pretty cool. So we'll raise the drawbridge for the moment, and you can see how it's stuck like that, and you're not going to be able to enter into my castle. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go inside and also shut the inner door. So now that we're actually inside the castle, the drawbridge is closed and we've got a limited amount of protection from that until it gets hit in such a way where the strings or the ropes above are going to snap and release the drawbridge or even we'll just have to destroy it completely to stop them getting in. We've also got a Mad Max style sliding sort of door system and it works on these rails up in here. The player simply sits in here and slides it back and forth. Now you could do this with pulleys but I realise you need it quite sensitive to actually be able to move this thing across. So yeah we have to make small little adjustments or else if we apply too much pressure when it doesn't need it it's not going to slide across but it does remind me of quite an old-fashioned and cool method of getting your door closed so just little steps and there we go we've got the door sealed and it works it works quite well against most sorts of siege weaponry i've tested it against the catapults and the weights themselves stop a lot of the damage even if this outer wall is destroyed anyway let's lower this drawbridge for the moment and we'll try sieging this with something else so in my inventory here with F10, we actually have a battering ram that I found on the workshop. There'll be a link in the description. And we'll see if it can actually put up with this battering ram sort of system. Now we'll drop this on here, try to get this as straight as possible. And there we go, we place it down. Now this battering ram works really interestingly. It's got this actual spring on a tension torque rotor sort of system. And it hooks up at the back here. And you hook that up to your rope. And then you spin your little rope wheel and it'll actually pull that into a rear sort of position so if we approach that door we should be able to destroy it and this is the only weakness i've found of this door so far so let's roll that into the door itself okay and then we just need to release the system and there we go look at that look at the battering ram it went straight through maybe the hole's a little bit too small to get a player through but we can actually see what we did here we'll have to see if we can wheel this thing back let's let's give that a, get a bit of a push wheel that out of the way and see what sort of damage we don't have we done enough so a, a fighter could get through the hole Oh no, not just not enough. Maybe another ram if this thing wouldn't have came apart and we could have got through there. Let's give it one more go. We'll get rid of this. And we'll put ourselves in another barren ram. Like so. And we'll rotate it around again. And we'll go for a full on ram this time without actually using the battering ram function on the front. We'll just give it a good push and see if it goes through the wall. So here we go. Oh no, we missed. We missed. Come on, get in there. <laughs> Oh, the madness of this. Yeah, the, the wood versus steel. It, it's a very hard door to penetrate, as you can see. And even when the wheels come off on the gate, the, since it's in them little gullies and them little rotors, it makes it stand its ground really well indeed. Anyway, let's get rid of this thing. It goes a little bit too crazy. Maybe we should try a catapult against it. Let's prep one of them up. Now, for the final test, what I thought we'd do is we'd get a number of different cannonball sizes. So we've got some large cannonballs fired on eight at different velocities and on seven. We also have the smaller cannonball, so let me grab a 7, so that's a smaller one, that's a larger one. We're going to fire them and see how much damage that each of these contraptions together can actually take. So this is going to be a large cannonball at max velocity, okay, so a direct hit to the middle looks like it's already severed 
one of the ropes that's caused the actual drawbridge to come down. So that's not very good. So let's actually release that up here. Just let that snap off. There you go. You can see how it's sinking into the floor due to the rotors. Now let's actually fire at the weighted door. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's crumbling away. So, oh, look at that. Wow, you'd have to get a good shot on these. These things break like bricks. Oh, wow. That's absolutely amazing. The, the only way of actually probably using this really effectively would to have to reinforce the backbone because you can see how they break in, as individual sort of blocks. But apart from that, these things look like they could be really strong. Maybe if we double layer reinforced it or we had some bar that went across it made it wood. That could reinforce that door strong enough. Anyway, I just wanted to show you a mess around of them two contraptions today. And we've, we've kind of destroyed my castle. I'm going to need to have to rework that. You may have noticed that I'm a little bit ill as well. So that's why there's not been too many videos. But I'm going to try to get back on top of it and get my voice sorted once again. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.